are automating critical processes that support the needs of the mission. off-the-shelf components and familiar methods, reinforcing best practices for the benefit of all peacekeeping operations. While accepting the growing importance of the Internet, ANMI has taken steps to relieve the UNLB link for access to mission-critical corporate applications. To meet this challenge, ANMI has been using a dedicated ISP since 2002. Last year, we increased our link to 2 megabit down, 1 megabit up. Though this effectively doubled our bandwidth, we quickly saturated the new capacity. We needed better bandwidth utilization control. We can do real-time scan, whatever the user is doing at the moment. We can have history, particular dates, from this day to whatever date you wanted to see, how, how he's using the, the, in, the internet access action. Our solution was to complete the chain from user to web request. We implemented multiple proxy servers to serve the different classes of users, extending Active Directory while introducing proxy authentication. The real difference between the old system and now is that we do authenticate to the proxy, so we know particularly who, what, what user, who, who, who's the user uh, logging in, I mean browsing the internet, what, what machine, what IP address up to that point, and we can segregate it by, by, by identifying sites, usernames, IP address, and the content of the, the site being browsed. Our intranet serves as a single access point for information and services. All services are available through a convenient web interface. Envisioning close collaboration with public information staff, we have installed the popular Mambo web publishing system for our intranet and our external website. For Mambo, you don't need to know about HTML. It's like an email, like I would, I would rather say like a Hotmail or Yahoo. You just, in the text, in the body, you just put the news and then the subject, you just put a, a title of the news and you just click save. We can use it from anywhere that we go within the mission area so all the information that you you post in there can be easily used we have made important upgrades to our popular easy archiving system to improve security and support high-speed scanning we have just come to have a look at your scanning system okay. and make sure everything's going well okay. Uh, I would want to communicate to those users who are um, considering adopting the system uh, the fact that um, documents are easier to find, documents are easier to store, documents are easier to keep long term for posterity. Following external audit recommendations, ANMI has introduced the iTravel system, automating the travel authorization process. Before this came out, you would have to, to have something like this paper, you fill out the form, you run to your chief, okay, he, he's not there maybe, so, so you wait and then he comes back, then he signs that you run to the next level, blah, blah, blah. So, so this is, uh, I mean, also good to save the time, save the trees as well, save paper, right? To get the information means to know what has happened yesterday, not what what happened a month ago or two months ago. Each year, the mission provides about 3,000 tons of food worth $8 million to soldiers serving as peacekeepers. Ensuring that this food is delivered on time and on budget is a complex task. You see fresh fruits and veg, rice, Indians. Yeah, just put it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very, very simple. <laughs> Cucumber <Yeah>. is Jordanian. <laughs> <laughs> We have developed an SQL database system to track rations, orders, and deliveries. Without uh, a strong administrative tool like this database is, uh, it's simply not possible to even to put all this, compile this, this information, compile this data. The system is scalable, operating as a desktop database with Excel spreadsheets for a new mission. Web-based modules for processing orders are in development. It's also a managerial tool. 
considering the amount of money that we are dealing with and we are responsible for, which is over half a million per month, uh, it would be simply irresponsible not not to put an effort and get this this kind of, of administrative tool or database developed and uh, to be used by by supply staff to, to manage this contract properly. We were getting bills from wind which were completely different from the amount we were charging from the people. Huge amounts we were getting from wind. In 2003, it was widely reported that ordinary settings for call setup times were being exploited by some ANMI users to avoid telephone charges. Almost 400,000 to 67. That's what I'm telling you. That's great. It dropped. It dropped. Because people can't cheat anymore. ANMI acted quickly, removing the grace period altogether and investigating how to recover the unbuilt calls. Zero seconds, uh, zero seconds uh, period for calling. That means uh, immediately when you dial your PIN code, it starts charging. So now there is no way of uh, cheating. No that way of cheating. Probably people will find another way. CITS is looking to introduce a real-time Lotus Notes billing system to provide enhanced security features and a user-friendly web interface. Looking to the future, we are partnering with Cisco to deploy a trial billing system for our IP telephony network. This will provide the last component for the converged networks of the future. We were real investigators by that time, trying to find out who was doing those calls, who was doing the other calls which were stolen pick codes. It was, it was interesting in a way, but I wish we had it behind. familiar with these conventional cameras, the old CCTVs, but they're pretty expensive. The system that we have here, unofficially, I think it's worth uh, 50 or 60 thousand dollars. You need a uh, uh, technician uh, with that kind of expertise, you know, and they have to install uh, separate uh, cables. They use tapes to uh, record uh, the events. You have to find it from your library find the right tape, and then you have to rewind, find the index, and so on. Our operations have to protect many assets, including valuable equipment, sensitive information, even cash. ANMI ITU has installed a network-based camera system with features including motion sensing alarms and multiple monitoring locations. We are monitoring the uh, server rooms. Uh, this is the, uh, the system costs less than a quarter of a conventional CCTV system. We installed 15 cameras for $6,000 with one or two days of setup. When were you here? Yesterday? The system allows instant retrieval of video at the click of a button. Monitoring and image retrieval can be performed anywhere with a network connection. A single 120 gig disk is sufficient storage for 60 days for 10 cameras. Yeah, this <laughs> dollars. From Turaya to our enemy system. Uh -huh. Simply connecting full time Turayas to your exchange for incoming and outgoing Turaya calls will save money and increase convenience. So this is the place where we install our uh, Toraya terminals, if you can see them here. Here is the base. From here we have our telephone connection, which is connected here. From your desk telephone, you can directly access a field user with a Toraya, avoiding the commercial telephone network. Likewise, the field user can connect to the mission's telephone network with the same access and convenience as a person in a headquarters office. 
With the CITS vision, we are exploring new opportunities to improve the effectiveness and security of peacekeeping operations. Forging new links with public information and supply, we look forward to developing and refining systems to serve the ever-changing needs of United Nations.